right have and have not fans please make this video do well because it's a it, I feel like I've been talking about this whole pregnancy thing almost as much as I did back in the day about Derek has the lion tattoo or pimp Candace or the damn money so like the video hit subscribe click the bell icon and select all that way you're notified whenever I post new content to the channel and follow me on my social media platforms. Links are in the description below. Let's talk about it. The whole pregnancy thing. Now, let me put it this way. I've said multiple times in multiple videos that to be completely honest, I don't think Charles is the father. Now, I know that a large percentage of people disagree with me. Matter of fact, let me pull it up on my phone. I left a um, a poll on the community tab. Lord, look, I took a shower about three hours ago. I didn't put on lotion. My hands are so dry it hurts to even move them. Whoops. Um, basically, about a week ago, I said, assuming she's pregnant, whose baby is Candace carrying? And I left multiple options. I said, Mitch, Charles, Warlock, Oscar, someone not listed. With almost 1,500 votes, yes, that many people voted, 80% say Charles. I don't know how the hell this happened, but 10% said Mitch. What? What? 4% said someone not listed, 3% said Warlock, 2% said Oscar. Mitch ain't the baby daddy because they never had sex unless they did it off screen. That's all I'm saying there. I know that storyline wise that it seems obvious that it will be Charles's baby, but based on the interaction between Landon and Candace in last night's episode, I honestly feel like it's going to end up not being his. Now look, and I feel like I'm a broken record here, but the series recycles dialogue all the time. So damn it. Why can't I? Not a lot of time has passed. But then again, Tyler Perry could be working in a way I don't recognize, but I don't know how much time needs to pass for a woman to begin showing or whatever, but I think I mentioned this in a live stream. I didn't mention it in my episode review, sadly, but when you look at Tinka Sumpner in the past couple episodes, especially this one or last night's, excuse me, last night's. I don't know if it's the lighting. I don't know if it's the camera angles. I don't know if Tyler Perry's having her put in the clothes that might be a size too small. But doesn't it look like Candace is a bit fuller in the face? Almost like, as hell, Mitch even said it, you're glowing. She says, I haven't been feeling well. I'm tired. I'm hungry. It seems, and even um, Landon knows she's being nicer, like, you know, there's like slight mood swings and whatnot. Doesn't it seem like Candace is like portraying various signs of pregnancy? And like I said before, just looking at different camera angles, it looks like her face is a bit bigger. Tinka Sumpner is not pregnant in real life, or at the very least, she was not pregnant during the time of the filming. Her and Nick James, Nicholas James, a.k.a. Justin, they are engaged in real life. They have one daughter. They do not have more children than that. So, I don't know what it is, but it definitely looks like Candace has something going on inside of her. And it could be a baby. I mean, she pretty much straight up refuses to take a pregnancy test. Go back to the first episode of If Loving You Was Wrong. The women noticed that Alex, I think Brad notices too, that she put on some weight. Or no, 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 I'm sorry. It was uh, the women who's like, hey, it looks like your breasts are bigger. Like you put on a few pounds, but we ain't say anything. It's like you have these weird cravings. And then she finally took a pregnancy test and then she's pregnant. Because she didn't want to do it because she didn't believe it. In this situation, Candace is almost like she knows the baby is inside of her, but she doesn't want to take the test. Just because you don't take the test doesn't make mean the baby going to go away. But looking at the conversation between her and Landon. It seems pretty clear that Candace is assuming the worst about Charles. Basically, wait, 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 wait. He knows about the pregnancy test. Landon's like, no, I d no. Look, you've been following around by you've you've been followed around by reporters and everything, and that's how I know 
Charles doesn't know about it. He just sent me down here to see how you're doing. And Kane's like, I don't care. Fine. Let him follow me. That's good. Because the way it seems like she's assuming the worst of Charles, because she even straight up told Landon, no, 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 no. Charles knows. And he told you to come down here to convince me to get rid of the baby. And she's like, no, never mind. I'm just basically this feels like there were a, a slight reversal. A season one, Candace, where Amanda took the pregnancy test, which said it was positive. Wait, again, I don't know what positive or negative means when it comes to pregnancy. If positive is good. I, what is it? Negative means no baby. Positive means, yeah, you're pregnant. Look, I don't know these things. So basically, that's when Jim saw the test, assumed it was Candace. So Candace decided to utilize it to her advantage. So he said, oh, no, I'll keep the baby and use it against you. But in this case, it seems like the same thing's going to play out exactly the same way where Charles doesn't know that Candace is pregnant, where Jim thought Candace was pregnant. Yeah, so Charles doesn't know Candace is pregnant, which it definitely seems like she is. And in the other case with Jim, Jim thought Candace was pregnant, but she wasn't. And the way that Candace is going, it's almost like, you know, if the reporters keep following her around and she eventually starts to show and whatnot, then the paparazzi in the media might assume that it's Charles's baby. Now imagine if the first time that Charles finds out about this whole pregnancy thing is through the media. He might get pissed off at Landon because, you know, he went down there, saw her, and she was fine, but she didn't want to talk to him or anything. So it could be that Landon will once again be put at fault, even though he did nothing wrong. So I just feel like Candace will probably utilize this against Charles because she did say, Charles, if you hurt me, I'll find a way to hurt you back even worse. So I think it stands to reason. And I would, and this is why I hate in real life when children are used as weapons against one or both parents for whatever reason. So I'm still thinking that Charles might actually try to get back with Candace, but I think it would be one hell of a twist if it was not Charles's kid. Like if he gets dragged in the media, oh, you, this girl tried to play you. Now she's going to be your baby mama. Now you need to make a first lady. And then it turns out a hot scandal. It wasn't his kid it could be either warlock a gangster from the hood or it could be oscar the guy that candace young murdered look folks i completely understand most people want i mean the polls said it we want charles and candace back together we want candace to get a happy ending yada 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 i get it but I think in terms of accelerating the story in regards of scandal, media, all that stuff, karma, it wouldn't it be something else if the baby that Candace is carrying, assuming she's pregnant, is actually either A, the child of the man she killed, Oscar, because she'd sat sex with him and then drugged him to take his computer information to steal the money from Wyatt, that would be one hell of a karma trip. The money that she still holds on to, the money that she doesn't want to give up. It came from her taking the money from Oscar, the man she slept with. And that's the child. And then he killed, and then she was killed. Then she killed him, shut him out of a window. Or B, Warlock, the man who, like Derek, forced himself on Candace multiple times well Derek only once with Hannah but like Hannah said I was in my bedroom and he snuck into the house and you know raped me so imagine Warlock all the times he snuck into Candace's house at that time and you know forced himself on her I just feel like it would be one hell of a story if Warlock or Oscar was the father and not Charles I think that would be a much more intriguing story. Now, once again, the show is allegedly ending soon. I don't know how long this is going to play out. I feel like this is most likely Baby Daddy 2.0. Like, the reason I'm not too pumped up about this storyline is because we've seen it play out with the Alex thing on If Loving You Is Wrong. But guess what? After five seasons, we never found out who the freaking Baby Daddy was. So, I would hate... For us to go through that again with the haves and the have-nots. Now, once again, would I be surprised if it goes that route? No, because Tyler Perry did it to us once before. Who's to say he won't do it again? But I just think the story would be more... It would be more interesting if the baby was Warlocks because that would go full circle with how Candace was conceived involving Hannah and Derek. Or 
Oscar because that's kind of penance for her murdering him. And not only that, but having sex in order to get the money. So I think that's God's twisted sense of humor, if you ask me. But let me know what you think. And before you comment, just please, please bear with me now. Tell me what you think would happen in regards to making the most sense to the story instead of what you want to happen because you want Charles and Candace to end up together happily ever after, especially because there are so many people working against her and Charles. But I just think that if Charles steps up and tries to do the right thing by getting back together with Candace, not just because of a baby, but because he does love her, but then it turns out the baby isn't his. It just fits the theme of the haves and the have nots where happiness cannot be held on to any of these characters for an extended amount of time. It doesn't matter if they're millionaires. It doesn't matter if they're maids or whatever. Any, any form of happiness is short lived. So I think that if Candace seems like she's getting into the role of first lady well and whatnot, and things look are looking up, then the baby's born and it turns out it isn't Charles. Isn't Charles is. I think that's what's going to happen. But let me know what you think in the comment section below and please keep it civil. If you disagree, that's fine. But I just think from a practical sense of Tyler Perry writing and twists and turns, it would make the most sense if it was not Charles's kid. So that would actually just do so much to prove everybody right. That said that Candace isn't the one for him. It's a bad look. You should get with a Gretchen, but y'all like, no, I want what I want. And regardless, damn the consequences. And that's pretty much Candace's way of living. So I just feel like it would be the perfect storm. So be sure to donate to the channel if you would like via PayPal or Cash App. Or join Patreon for as little as $1 a month. And as always, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. And I'll talk to you in the next video.